All right, we're here in the Mayweather Boxing Club with a face we haven't seen in quite a while, Ryan Martinez. Uh, first of all, Ryan, we know you've been out of action due to some injuries. Remind the folks who, who might not have seen you a while, what exactly went down in your last fight as far as the injuries go that have kept you out for this long? Uh, I ruptured my, my left bicep tendon uh, completely at the elbow. I had my meniscus medial and lateral scoped. Freak accident, both happened on the same night. Uh, injury was supposed to keep me out for 12 calendar months. Um, I've done my sulking, I've done my sitting around the house, I'm sick of it, you know, I'm, I got I got the itch to get back in there, I seen, uh, I seen a bunch of crazy shit happen, you know, over this past year since I've been out, and I tell you what, man, I, I think I could beat any heavyweight out there, given the right camp, the right mindset, and everything, man, I just, it's time to put it to use. You're a guy that's uh, gone through his share of injuries, and you've been itching to, to make your mark in this sport, because you've, uh, you know, you, you got a family sport, as we all know, and, and you, you've had your issues in the past and looking forward to, to getting to the top of the mountain. How frustrating has that been? You know, so, you know, when you get injured, you get injured for real. You don't, you don't have these, uh, you know, two-month injuries. You have long-term. So what's that been like, you know, having to deal with these issues, uh, you know, when you're trying to get to the top of the sport? To be honest, uh, you know, when I first started this game, I was in my late 20s, but uh, I was able to recover real fast from my workouts and whatnot. It seemed like once I started getting injured, like the, it just kept like one right after another. I mean, I don't have good luck at all. If it wasn't for bad luck, I, you know, I wouldn't have any luck. So just like I broke my hand, <laughs> I tore my bicep, tore my knee, but now I'm like at 100% to where I feel like like I just started fighting again. Like I got that that quench, you know, to train 100% to to give it my all, give it one last go. Yeah, with that, uh, with those long-term injuries, not that it's a blessing in disguise, but does that help your body heal in other ways? You know, as far as not having to get the the constant day-to-day -day beating that your body would normally go through. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I was told an animal in the wild, once they're injured, they go off and, and they fall asleep for three or four days at a time. They don't try to rush home. They don't try to eat. They go and they find a little hiding spot and they nest until they recovered. You know, and a lot of us fighters, you know, we're, we're fighters, so we get injured and we try to push through it. We try to get through the camp, win our fight, get on to the next one. We don't ever fully let our, our bodies recover. Um, now that I've had the chance to fully let my body recover, I'm excited about everything. I'm excited about being here. I'm excited about working out. It's just like reinvented me, man. Lit a flame under my ass for sure. So what's your status uh, as far as fighting goes? Are you, you know, you were with Bellator last we saw you. You're still going to be working with them. Are you free agent? You know, what? anyone that you talk to as far as where you're gonna be fighting next? Bellator let me go due to they couldn't keep me busy while I was injured so therefore Seth Daniels with Fight to Win or Shane Carwin with uh, Premier Fighting Championships gonna get me on one of their cards in September October you know get a tough fight there get a win fight again sometime uh, December January and then let's shoot for a big show again. And then just like what goals do you have for yourself still I mean it's still the same I mean, you, you've gone through these injuries but still ultimately get to UFC or wherever and be the best heavyweight in the world, win championships. What do you still want to prove in the sport? Man, I ain't got shit to prove to anybody. I think I've proven a lot as it is in, in my life, in the sport. I just got that itch, man. Fuck the money. Fuck a name. Fuck the ego. Let's get in there and let's bang, man. I got the itch to fight and that's all I want to do. If I can make some money, let's make some money. But, you know, let's just get in there and bang. I don't have nothing to prove to no one. I got a job. I got a 4.0 GPA in college. You know, I'm on my road to, to, to my own successes. I'm just getting that itch to fight, and I'm sorry for whoever steps in the ring next. And then just wrapping up, you know, we, we've seen you go in the ring before, uh, win or lose. You're, you're an exciting guy. You're going in there throwing bombs, and uh, if you land, you can knock out anybody. When we see you back in the ring next time, same Ryan Martinez, better, different. Oh, you know, what, what kind of guy are we going to see in there? One hungry motherfucker is what you're going to see. All right, Ryan, look forward to seeing you. Glad to have you back here in the gym. We'll keep folks updated. Thank you.